So in this example, I'm going to show you how to export Yahoo Finance data using Python. Okay, I'm going to use Google Colab as my working environment. So first, I'm going to actually, you know, let's say, import uh, the finance Yahoo Finance library and import as y if y if okay and then I'm gonna import the panels library okay so I need these two library for this exercise okay so that being said um I run my syntax and then you know I, I need to find you know stock ticker I'll be using for this tutorial okay let's figure it out so now let's say I'm going to define ticker, which equals to uh, y if dot ticker. Okay. Uh, let's say I'm going to use Apple. If you are not familiar with the stock ticker, you come here, you search for Apple. Okay. Search for Apple. You see here stock ticker for Apple is AAPL. So I'm going to type it here, all uppercase A, 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 P, L, okay? So now I define my object, okay? Now I define my object. So now I can also get, you know, historical data and company information, okay? Let's say I want to get, you know, company information, ticker.info. So see here, you know, shows me the number of standing shares, book value, earnings per share, EPS, dividend time, dividend value, last dividend value, okay? And other, you know, other financial metrics, okay? Let's say, you know, I want to have uh, historical data, okay? History. So default option gives us the data for this past month, okay? Let's say I want to get the data for this past month. Congratulations, you see? We get the data from December 2024 to December 2025, okay? Now let's say, you know, I want to actually do a basic realization. I want to show, you know, the trend, uh, maybe, you know, some time series, you know, uh, analysis, okay? So I just need to click this icon. Uh, Google Colab has such a great functionality or feature which allows you to see, you know, that these charts, you know, without doing any coding. So let's say I'm click the suggestion chart. And you see here, you know, my software, Google Colab is generating, you know, these charts for free. Okay, for free. Okay, for free. And you can also practice, you know, let's say, and see how you can adapt, you know, this basic, syntax and generate different chart, okay? So next, let's say you want to get data for this, you know, let's say, uh, for this company, historical data. Let's say you can use period equals max, okay? That shows you, you know, historical data for this company, okay? Okay, from 1980 to 2024. So surprisingly, you see here in 19, 1980, this company has a price of you know, nine cents. Okay, nine cents. And today is $257. Okay, so now let's, uh, you know, let's uh, get our financial statements. We want to get, you know, balance sheet. Okay, let's define our balance sheet. You see here, my software, you know, Google Colab knows what I want to enter. Let's just uh, take some shortcuts, okay? So I'm just uh, click a tab key on your keyboard, okay? And then this is going to show up automatically, okay? This is going to be the balance sheet, okay? Our balance sheet is ready. I just run it. Now I want to print. Let's say I want to print my balance sheet. So you can print a balance sheet, okay? Now shows you the balance sheet for the company, okay, for the company. Now let's say, you know, I want to have the income statement, okay? Income statement, you see here, again, click a tab key, and then equals to ticker.income.stmt, okay? 
So run it. And then I want to print, you know, the income statement. Okay. Once I print, you know, I want to make sure, you know, let's say my Excel spreadsheet will be ready once, you know, this data is exported. Okay. So next, lastly, I want to have, you know, let's say cash flow statement. Okay. So you see, you know, I just need to click a tab key and then it shows me ticker dot cash flow. Okay. Again, now, you know, I'm going to print cash flow. Okay. Print cash flow. Congratulations. Now we have all of the three spreadsheets we are looking for. Okay. Now the final step, let's say, you know, we want to actually use, you know, the pandas library to write, you know, our Excel spreadsheet. You see here, Google Colab knows that we want to create this Excel spreadsheet. Congratulations. You really saved your time if you use AI technology. Okay. This AI technology here is for free. So we are going to accept, you know, the reminder, the tip given by Google Colab. I'm going to click a tab key, you know, on my keyboard. Okay. Tab key. Yes, yes. Okay, you see here, let's say next, I want to have income statement. Again, once I click enter the next line, income statement to Excel. Okay, cash flow to Excel. So now, congratulations, I have all of the statements I'm looking for. Okay, I'm actually now run this section. And hopefully, my data set, my, you know, uh, my balance sheets, income statement, cash flow statement will be ready as Excel spreadsheet, okay? So now let's click, you know, files tab here on the left pane. If you click uh, the files icon, and then you're gonna find, you know, let's say the data set, the name, the data set, which is Apple, apl.xlsx. And then they see these three dots and click download Congratulations, your data is ready. Okay, your data is ready. So let me open the data set. And next step, you know, some of you may want to play with the data set because I want to, you know, I'm traditional Excel spreadsheet user. So I always want to look at, you know, how, you know, how I could play this data. Sometimes, you know, you using Excel, okay? Using Excel. So, so now, you know, I'm gonna reshare my window. Okay, reshare my window. Now, congratulations, our data set is ready. So you see here, you know, we have balance sheet for the last few years, okay? Uh, income statement for the last few years. We also have, you know, the cash flow statement for the last few years, okay? Let's say you know, want to make some financial investment. And uh, one of the metrics we'll be using usually is, you know, that's net income for the company. If I look at net income for Apple, uh, you know, let's say for the last two years, from 2023 to 2024, I found, you know, that's a net income for this company has decreased from around 97 billion to around 94 billion. So that being said, you know, again, uh, you know, if I just use this financial metrics as a, you know, as a starting point, looks like, you know, something is going on. So this company may not be a good candidate for my money, for my investment. Okay. But again, if you look at the market sentiment and uh, maybe other things are going on, right? And, you know, let's say stock market appreciation or maybe, you know, housing market, some other factors, right? Maybe, you know, people just want to invest in the stock market in the United States, right? And so that's when, you know, they believe this company will come back. Okay, they will come, this company will come back. So that being said, again, so you can also look at, you know, again, other metrics. I want to show you one more, just one more example. Because, uh, you know, you can really get all of this data for free as in play with it. Let's say I want to get, you know, EPS. 
Okay, that's a EPS trend. Okay, you see here ticker dot EPS underscore trend. Okay, and you see here you know shows you EPS data for the last uh, uh, seven days, thirty days, sixty days, or ninety days. You can also look at a graph. Okay, look at a graph, which you shows you some you know some info, some additional information. You can also let's say look at you know dividend history, okay, ticker. Dot, div, dividend, okay, dividend, dividend, okay. So it shows you know uh, how much money Apple is paying to its stockholders, okay, historically, okay. So that being said, uh, this is what's going on, and uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Again, finally, you can rename your, you know, Google Colab, you know, document or tutorial. So let's say I'm going to use Y Finance, okay? 2025, and uh, I can save it, okay? And definitely you know, remember our original data, which include balance sheets, income statement, and uh, cash flow statement is here. You can download it for free and uh, play with it okay thank you so much i hope you have a great day and definitely you know if you are a user uh, r has many great function functionalities which allows you to take your analysis to the next level personally i'm a you know i prefer to use r uh, for you know for some additional analysis for example this is like you know let's say mscd analysis i did two weeks ago, I use this MSCD analysis to determine, you know, the signals for buying and selling, okay, my stocks. Let's say here, RDDT, you know, if you are familiar with it, it represents Reddit, okay, which is a social media company, okay. Again, thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you have a great day, and uh, I'm also going to share this syntax and my GitHub website, and I will include the link, and uh, you know, under my YouTube video. Okay, I hope you have fun, and thank you for watching. Okay, so again, if you, uh, if you don't know my GitHub website, I'm going to actually post it here as well. So you know, this uh, tutorial will be posted shortly to my GitHub website, okay? So let me show you the window again. And this is my GitHub website. And I'm going to show my, you know, uh, final tutorial on my GitHub website, okay? Here under, usually under repositories, you see here under resources, you know, have fun, you know, so the majority of my tutorials here. And I may include like a new folder and so you can download it easily. Okay. Thank you for watching. You have a great day. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope you know uh, you found this uh, tutorial to be useful or insightful. Okay. Thank you.